Marco Rivera, you're under arrest for the attempted murder of Robert Ford. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an I already have Marco, an don't say anything, okay? Fine, let's go. Okay. Now let's... No, you can't arrest Marco for something he didn't do. Yeah, I need an update on the assault victim that's brought into the OR. Robert Ford? Oh, yeah, that's the one. We just got word on him. He's out of surgery, but his condition's still critical. Jessica? Uncle Bo. Hi. Is everything all right? Come on in. Larry does good work, doesn't he? What's the matter? You know that guy? No. Well, why the bug eyes? It's just... <clears throat> gruesome. <laughs> Good, you are pathological, aren't you? What? Well, you're lying about having seen me push Marty Saybrook down the stairs, and now you're lying about this. Why? Langston, we have evidence that links Marco to the crime. I don't care. He's not guilty. It's impossible. Impossible? Why? I'm not lying. I'm not signing anything that says I lied about what I saw or that I'm guilty of doing anything to Dr. Saybrook. So why don't you tell your goons on the other side of the door to let me leave? Well, I can't. And what now? Are you going to torture me? I bet that would turn you on, wouldn't it? You're sick. I don't have to torture you. It's obvious what drives you crazy. Oh, being held against my will by a rapist? Yeah, journalism. What do you think I had to run as a headline? Hmm? How a TA gets KO'd. You know what? Here's the story it's gonna run with. Robert Ford. Graduate student and teaching assistant at Landview University was assaulted last night. He was found in the bed of his apartment, blah, 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 blah. Now, you go to Landview, right? I bet if I dug a little, I'd find out that your path and Mr. Ford's path crossed. Yeah. Sure. That's front page news. Student at LU, Hannah O'Connor, may have randomly seen the victim on campus. Continued in section 12. I don't need that much space to figure out what you guys had in common. In fact, I think I've already got a whole new angle on this story. Why is it impossible for Marco to have assaulted Robert Ford? Because he couldn't have. Marco is the kindest, gentlest, most loving person that I've ever known, and he's not capable of killing anybody. No matter how angry he Langston, gets, he thank wouldn't... you very much, but I'll be defending Marco from now on. Do you have an arrest warrant? Oh, my guest. That's good. The sneakers? That's it? <laughs> That's the extent of your so-called evidence against my client? Treads on the shoe match the bloody shoe print at the scene. How do you even know they're Marcos? We found the receipts for them in his apartment. Oh, you searched his apartment illegally. We had a warrant for that, and it's good, too. You can check it out at the station. And you found those sneakers in a dumpster? Right out back, behind Marco's place of business, where he already told us he spent last night. That's circumstantial. You have no proof those sneakers are the same ones worn during the crime. Lab analysis will match the blood on those shoes to the victim. Or that he was the one who threw them out in the dumpster last yeah, night. We have an eyewitness who saw him do it. A woman whose house backs onto the alley heard a noise in the middle of the night. She looked out the window and saw someone throw the sneakers in the dumpster. And she's saying that it's Langston. Marco? She's lying. Langston. She's a regular here. She had no problem IDing Marco. Okay, okay, look, look. The reason you found Marco, those sneakers... let me do the talking. The evidence is flimsy at best. But we have no choice but to accompany Officer Lovett to the station. Okay. I'm so sorry. It's a little late for that. What do you think? Come on, let's go. Okay. There is no way that Marco tried to kill Ford last night. Don't worry. I got this. No, but isn't there anything I can do to help him? Not unless you know who really attacked Ford. What 
angle. Uh, well, the reason you flipped your lid just now or some guy that you claim to have randomly met, perhaps. <laughs> I'd say you know him pretty well. You're facing murder charges and all you can do is ask me about some guy I might know? Oh, so you admit it, huh? You and Ford were friends. Obsessed much? Oh, wait a minute. My daughter Star told me that the reason you tried to kill yourself was over some guy, dumped you. Is Ford the guy? My personal life is none of your business, you pervert. I want you to understand something. You're the only one standing between me and life in prison. So everything in your life is my business from here on out, you understand? Including your relationship with Ford. Are you here about the patient, Robert Ford? Uh, no, my lieutenant, John McBain, he's uh, taking care of that case. Why? It, was Ford able to tell us uh, anything about what happened to him? Uh, it doesn't look good for him. Oh, Thank you. Did you know a guy named Robert Ford? Uh, he was Christian and Layla's roommate. I met him once or twice. Oh, then you got to be worried about him, too. Yeah, I, I heard about what happened to him. I just wanted to make sure he was okay. I, I hope he makes it. Well, he's lucky to uh, survive that head trauma. If we had a motive, then I think we could figure out who did this to him. Oh, Quo, well, there's something I have to tell you. I'm sure, yeah. I, I just have a feeling it's more than that. She, she seems extremely remorseful about the hurt that she thinks she did to people. Right before, I remember what Mitch tried to do to me, and before all my memories came flooding back, I was... Yes, I'm sorry, Jess. I gotta take this. Okay. Buchanan. They bringing him in? All right, we have a tight case. Good, thank you. Nice work. It looks like we've got the guy who attacked Robert Ford. Really? Yeah. That's great. Yeah. We've got solid evidence against him. Brody made the arrest. <laughs> and now I've got to make uh, more phone calls. <sighs> so, you, but you were about to tell me something. I was... Yeah, I was, um... I was just going to tell you how grateful I am to you and everybody else for putting up with me and making sure that I was okay. Jess, Jess, we're family. I love you. And I want you to remember something. Anytime you need to talk to anybody about anything at all, remember you've always got your uncle. Okay? Remember that. <laughs> It's been pretty bad, huh? Did you break your heart? You swallowed a pharmacy? I'm not talking to you about any of this! That's no, okay. I'm just here to listen. I want you to know that. No, <sighs> oh, I know. I know. I do have to say something, though. <gasps> it's what? Something seems a little off. Just a little weird, you know? Let me hear you getting all upset over this lover boy. Show you a picture of his head getting bashed in. Yeah, I got bashed in. And you didn't even ask who did it. Do they know? You have no hard evidence against my client, Detective. We have Marco's sneakers stained in blood. They match a footprint we found at the scene. You haven't done a DNA test yet, so you don't know whose blood is on those sneakers. It's not looking good, kid. If you got something to say, now's the time to say it. Star, it's me. Look, I know you're mad at me for lying to you, and you have every right to be. But you're still my best friend, and right now I really need you. 